This video introduces the Quick Search box in Leap. The Quick Search box can be found fixed on the Leap header. The Quick Search box can be used to scan a patron or item barcode or a title's ISBN or UPC to quickly locate and open the matching record. Staff can also locate matching patron and bibliographic records by typing keyword search terms into the Quick Search box. Let's start with searching for a specific barcode via the Quick Search tool. Simply place your cursor in the Quick Search box and type or scan the item or patron barcode, pressing Enter if needed. The matching record will automatically open. The Quick Search box can also be used for a keyword search. When a search term is typed into the Quick Search box, Leap will attempt to locate matching patron or bibliographic records. As you type out your terms, Leap will display automatic suggestions for patron and bibliographic records if matches are found. Here's an example. If I type Sherlock Holmes into the quick search box, I'll see matching bibliographic record or title suggestions, and I'll also see a patron account suggestion for my test library account for Mr. Sherlock. Automatic patron suggestions are updated nightly. If you make a change to a patron's record, the changes will not be reflected in the automatic suggestions until the next day. Automatic bib record suggestions are updated weekly on Sundays. If you make a change to a bib record, the change will not be reflected in the automatic suggestions until the next week. A few more things to know about searching using the quick search box. First, the Quick Search box is searching all index keyword fields. For bibliographic records, this includes title, author, subject and genre headings, notes, summaries, and more. When searching for patron records, the Quick Search tool looks for matches in the name, address, phone number, or email fields. For patrons, the Quick Search box will not match on patrons' former barcode field. The second thing to note about the quick search box is that it's performing a phrase search. This means that it's searching as if there are quotation marks surrounding your terms and is looking for records where your terms appear together and in the same order that you type them in. Let's look at Midnight Library as an example. If I type Midnight Library into the quick search box to try and locate the book the Midnight Library by Matt Haig, the database looks for records where Midnight and Library appear together in that same order. You can see that several suggestions populate and I can click enter to view all of the matching titles. Be careful to not combine several phrases or search terms when using the quick search box. This may lead to an unsuccessful search or incomplete search results. Here's an example. If I try to combine an author and title search in the quick search box by typing in Matt Haig Midnight Library, I don't get any results from my search because there are no records in which those words appear together in the same order. Again, trying to search multiple phrases at once using the quick search box isn't recommended because it can give you an unreliable list of results. The quick search box is also performing a phrase search when looking for patron records. A few tips for a successful patron quick search. Since the quick search box is performing a phrase search, you can only search one patron field at a time. For example, you won't be able to search using both email and phone number at once. If searching for an address, the inclusion or exclusion of a unit number or cardinal direction may affect which, which results are returned. There's a little more flexibility with searching names, however, because they're indexed in the database in multiple ways. For example, you can search first name, last name, last name, first name, just first name, or just last name. Here's one last tip. The quick search box is not normalizing search terms by accounting for spaces or space equivalents like hyphens or parentheses. When using the quick search box, you need to enter in the term in the same way it appears in the patron or bib record, including spaces or space equivalents. Let's walk through two examples. If you're searching for a patron by phone number, you will need to enter the area code, followed by a hyphen, followed by the first three numbers, a hyphen, and then the remaining four digits. You can also replace the dashes with spaces if that's easier. 
If you type in the phone number with no dashes or spaces between the sets of numbers, you'll see no result because in the patron record, the data is stored with the hyphens between the numbers. The same thing applies for ISBN. If you copy the ISBN from a vendor's website and it includes a dash, searching via the quick search box will not turn up any results. You need to remove the hyphen so that the ISBN matches exactly how the data is coded in the bibliographic record. As always, if you need assistance or have questions, please email CCS staff at help at ccslib.org.